medicine, medicine, medicine in the Philippines. Philippines will not accept you, no matter where you are coming from, with just your high school certificate. You need a, how many years is medicine in the Philippines? Not to address someone as a physician in the Philippines. That person has spent nothing less than the first four years was for the first degree, the second four years for medical college, then one year. So if you check in total, nothing less than. Hi, everyone. Welcome back again to another video. It's feels so good to be back again on your screen. It's your first time of coming across this channel. My name is Ruth. And on this channel, I talk about nursing, yeah, because I'm a graduate nurse from one of the universities here in the Philippines. And currently I am taking up masters of arts in nursing and um, on this channel I give you reasons why Philippines is one of the best places in the world to study again on this channel once in a while I bring up guests to interview them and also for them to also share their experience about um, life in the Philippines we vlog on this channel and we do every other thing in between so find a reason to subscribe to this channel remember to turn on your post notification bell that says all so you're always notified anytime a new video drops on this channel for my old g's my old g's thanks so much love this for always tuning in to watch my videos you know i do not take you love this for granted so back to our discussion today in this video we are going to be discussing medicine 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 in the philippines so there's this video i uploaded few few days back where i interviewed some indians that were sharing their experience in the philippines obviously they were new in the philippines and they were sharing how the india government released a new bill that is affecting them as indians schooling in the philippines yeah i want to address something about medicine in the philippines and um, also address some things about that video i uploaded medicine in the philippines like we we'll always say is four years for md in the philippines doctor of medicine in the philippines is four years but to set the record straight or um for record purpose medicine in the philippines is more than four years yeah Medicine in the Philippines is more than four years, I repeat. We all know that for you, for you to get into medical college here in the Philippines, you need to first of all have your first degree. Medicine in the Philippines is, is not something you get admission into immediately you graduate from high school. Once you graduate from high school and you want to do medicine in the Philippines, after your high school, you need to go into college to get a pre-med course. Let's get this straight, especially for foreigners that may be watching this video. For Filipinos, medicine is more than four years. Because if you are an indigenous, like if you are a Filipino, if you want to take up medicine, you will first of all go into college. You must get your first degree first. It's advisable for you to take any of these courses like um, nursing, nursing we know in the philippines is four years you can take med tech that is a medical laboratory for four years or pharmacy for four years or biology biology in the philippines is four years let's get this point clearly biology for indigenous for philippines in the philippines is four years not one year not two years not one and a half but four years for filipinos after you must have finished with your first degree before you now proceed take your mmat exam then before you go into medical college proper for foreigners that want to take up medicine in the philippines most indians that come to the philippines most foreigners that come into philippines including nigerians some nigerians that come into the philippines for medicine precisely for you to get medicine it is still the same process you need a first degree before you will go into medical college in the philippines so for these foreigners most of them that come into the philippines they come immediately after their high school to the philippines to take up medicine and philippines will not accept you no matter where you are coming from with just your high school certificate you need a first degree for you to proceed to medical college here in the philippines so philippines being a wise country <laughs> let me put it like that they made a program they made a course for foreigners this course they made for foreigners they call it pre-med 
pre-medical course. This pre-medical course, some school we do biology. Yeah, it's mostly biology. I think there's other course they say some school do. I don't know if it's psychology. Anyway, let me not state what I'm not sure of, but the most common um, course, if I'm not mistaken, that most of these foreigners take as a pre-med course when they come to the Philippines in order for them to proceed to medicine, the pre-med course they take mostly is BS Biology. Like I mentioned before, remember that BS Biology for indigenous, that's the citizens of the Philippines, the BS Biology for them is four years. And this course is not cheap. To get the pre-med in the Philippines is not cheap. But for these foreigners that come in with high school certificates, and they have the intention of going into medical college. They cannot go into medical college in the Philippines, no matter where the medical college is here in the Philippines. You cannot go into the school, into medical college with just your high school certificate. That's where this pre-med comes in. So for these foreigners, they need to take a pre-med course, which lasts for about, for some schools, the duration of school for a pre-med in the Philippines, if I'm not mistaken, is two years. Yeah. That's for some schools. Why some is just one year? Some is 1.5, that's one and a half year. Then others, two years. It depends. Then you want to do your pre-med. And not all schools in the Philippines have this pre-med course. Some schools do that. Again, not all schools in the Philippines is qualified. Let me use that word. Pardon me to use the word. Is qualified to have a medical college. So not every school like have what it takes to <laughs> to run medicine i don't know yeah i hope you understand what i'm saying like to run a medical college that is why in the philippines some schools in the philippines have a lot of courses they offer here yeah, you have maybe you have other medical courses like nursing pharmacy medtech but some of them or most of them don't have medicine in it like in the province where i am staying that's um in the province where I'm staying, the whole of Pangasinan, if I'm not mistaken, only two universities offer medicine. That's my school and one other school. They have all the universities around the city where I'm staying. The city where I'm staying, they have almost about five or more universities. But even at that, from what I know, the two schools I know that run medicine in Pangasinan, where I'm staying for now, from the little I know, is my school and one other school. These are the two schools that offer medicine as a course in addition to other subjects. The reason I'm stating this is to let you know that medicine is a very serious course in the Philippines. It's a course that is taken seriously in the Philippines. So back to the gist. For these foreigners that come into the Philippines, most of them come with high school certificate. So in order to aid them fast, like to help them fast, like for them to get into medical college without any hitch or any problem, I believe that was why Philippines came up with this pre-med as a curse to help this um, foreigners get into medical college because they cannot get into medical college with just high school certificates. So that being said, if you ask a Filipino how many years is medicine, if you want to calculate how long that person has spent before he or she attained that honor as an MD, he or she has spent eight years in total, if you want to calculate it. Is it just eight years? After they graduate from medical college, they don't just take their licensure exam immediately. They will first of all go for what is called PIG. That's they have to do internship for one year. After the internship, they will register for the licensure exam. So in total, if you want to add everything in total, for you to address someone as a, a physician here in the Philippines, that person has spent nothing less than nine years before getting that license as a physician. The first four years was for the first degree. The second four years for medical college. Then one year internship. Then before sitting for the licensure exam he or she now, after passing the exam, of course, <laughs> will now be addressed as a physician. So if you check in total, the time that the person spent, I mean like the one that moved four years without wasting time, 
um, went into the medical college without wasting time, did the internship without wasting time, took the exam, exam once and passed. That person spent nothing less than nine years before he attained that honor, physician. So I want to make this video to clear the air about the video I uploaded some time ago about medicine in the Philippines. I want my viewers to understand how they do medicine here in the Philippines and also in the area of the foreigners. So that being said, for a Filipino who is a physician, please get it in your mind that he or she spent nothing less than nine years before he attained that honor, a physician. Now back to foreigners. For a foreigner who did not have um, who did not have first degree before coming to the Philippines, you have a chance of taking a pre-med course. Do not forget that the first pre-med course you took, the least duration I know of anyways, is um, one year minimum. So if you add one year to the four years you spent in medical college, that's five years already. Although in your certificate, certificates when you graduate as a medical doctor, pre-med years they spent, they don't usually add it to the certificate. If you are studying in Nigeria, for example, if you want to take up medicine, they call it MBBS in Nigeria. If it's MBBS in Nigeria, MBBS in Nigeria is six years. To be a medical doctor in Nigeria, you need to spend nothing less than six years in the university. And the first two years, what you have done in high school is most of the things they repeat in the first two years. They give you minor subjects, minor courses. That's what they do in the first two years. They start teaching the medicine courses proper as from third year. Unlike Philippines, Philippines presume that you have done your first degree. So all those minors that you spent two years doing, you have already done it in your first degree. So that's why once you get admission into medical college, they start up with you with the core courses, like the subjects you start doing immediately are subjects that, that is related to your line as a medical student. They start teaching you all those serious subjects. And not me, those serious, serious subjects, they start teaching you from your first year immediately. So they take their own um, standard from that of the US. They are following the step of US, you understand. That for some Nigerians that come here for medicine, some of them already have their first degree from Nigeria. For those people that already have their first degree from Nigeria, if you ask them the course they took in Nigeria, the first, I mean their first degree, most of them did five years already in Nigeria before coming to the Philippines to do four years for medicine. Nursing in Nigeria is five years and not four years like you have in the Philippines. Pharmacy is five years. Then biology in Nigeria is four years. Most of most of these science courses in Nigeria, the science subject is five years. Then the minimum of years you will spend in Nigerian university, whether state or federal, is four years before you graduate. And some Nigerians that come here for medicine, some of them already have their degree, their first degree, which if you ask them, maybe some of them spent at least minimum of four years before coming to the Philippines for medicine. The younger ones that come here for medicine, just like the Indians, you have tons of Indians, like they come here in very large number. Most of them come with high school, then they go in for the pre-med before they will proceed to medicine. So for these few Nigerians too, and that come with high school, they also take the pre-med before they continue with their medicine. You understand? So, but for some of these Nigerians that already have first degree, just like Filipinos that already have first degree, if you want to add up how many years they have spent before they got their honor as a medical doctor, they've also spent almost eight to nine years before getting that license as a physician. The Philippine certificate is nothing to question about. It is recognized in Nigeria. Once you bring it, they see the school is accredited, where so you have to take the license exam. It's only when you take the license exam and pass that you will not be addressed as a medical doctor. So in the Philippines, the total time they spend in medical college is at least nine years, like I mentioned, that's for indigenous. So for the Indians, back to the video I made, in that video, the Indians I interviewed, they were sharing their challenge, like what they are facing currently with their government, you know? A lot of Indians come to the Philippines to study medicine. And now their government, from what they said in that interview, their government made a law, they just passed a bill that 
any Indian that any other people that goes abroad to study for medicine, if it is in any any of these third world countries, like we know Philippines is among the third world countries, right? So that video is not just about Philippines alone. It's stating both those that study in Ukraine, in Russia, Georgia, any of these countries in the third world countries, any Indian that go there for study should come back with five years certificate because medicine in India is five years. So the certificate should bear that they have done their training, training in the sense that they have gone through school for five years before coming back to India to take the license exam. But in the Philippines, Indians, immediately they are done with their medicine. They go back to their country immediately. And in their certificate, it is four years Normally, that's four years for medicine in the Philippines, right? So that's what their certificate carries. That pre-med they did is not added to, like, in the certificate of medicine, if I'm not mistaken. It's not added. So from what they said in the interview video, I presume that what is stated in their certificate is four years. So that's what India is saying to their own indicates, like the Indians, their own citizens, that anybody that is going abroad to any of these third what countries to study, whether Philippines, Russia, Ukraine, Georgia, any of these countries, anybody that goes there for study should make sure to come back with a certificate that has five years duration. So that was what those Indians, the point they were trying to create in that video I uploaded. They were, they were trying to make people understand that the thing is affecting them and they are trying to write an appeal to their government to pardon they themselves that already in school like the guest stated in that video they were already in philippines like they have already gained admission in the philippines they've already started classes paid for things before that bill was passed and it's going to affect them if their government does not like give some lapses it's going to affect them because this bill came after they already got admission to take up pre-med in preparation for their medicine in the Philippines. So that was why in that video they are advising that the new people that are yet to get admission, those ones that want to come into any of these third world countries to study, whether Philippines or any of they should wait first to see if India government will look into their appeal. So in that video they are trying to explain their challenge and um, how they feel affected by the new bill that their government just passed, you know. And the solution, when I asked them about the solution, what they were trying to say is that their agent is trying to, like, if there is a way they will speak to the Philippines to see, um, or schools in the Philippines, actually those ones that are taking there so much, if there is a way they will add internship, from what I understand from the interview I made with them, like, if it will be compulsory internship for Indians, so by the time they add the four years and one year internship, it will now be five years they spent already in medical school. By the time they take it back to their country, yeah, it will be very valid for them. Okay, that means they already spent five years. So they are now qualified to take their own India license exam. So that's what I understand from what they said in that video. Yeah, this is something, it's not something new because this is how Nepal. Nepalese rather, this is how they do it. For the Nepalese that study in the Philippines, once they are done with medicine four years, they take the one year internship before they leave the Philippines. For those that did not really understand that video, that video meant no harm or in any way to degrade the Philippines um, education or medicine, no. It is from their own understanding, what they understand medicine to be since their own is five years. They are coming back, come back with five years certificates. That's what I feel they, they are trying to do from the interview I made with them. So there is nothing like maybe um, for a lot of comments. Oh my God, Filipinos. <laughs> you don't dare Filipinos when it comes to trying to like trigger them into that kind of situation that will make them angry. <laughs> You want to talk about their country? Hey, you on your own. Philippines remind me so much about Nigeria. Nigeria is, no matter how bad it is, with the citizens, or no matter what is going on in the country, a Nigerian is the person that is qualified to condemn and do anything. In fact, there is, is even to some extent, to some extent, <laughs> in the Philippines, 
that one really opened my eye like that video and the comments people were pouring in that comment section opened my eyes to like i said wow filipinos are like nigerians in a way that if you talk any film about their country or anything that has to do with filipinos they will finish you they will finish you <laughs> please you people should tell that justice with mercy that the interview video meant no harm or in any way trying to demean or degrade um, Philippine certificates or medicine or anything that has to do with Philippines. That being said, I still need to remind you that I am one of the surest plugs, yeah, agents you can use to help you get admission into any school in the Philippines. I'm one of the surest plug you can rely on or count on to help you do that. So now please, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this video helped clear some things about the previous interview video i made with the indians if you have any suggestion or correction or observation please feel free to leave it in the comment section let's continue our discussion in the comment section but until i come your way again next time i know your favorite nurse ruth signing out